Hey guys, Extremicide here with another Call of Duty Modern Warfare Best Class Setup Guide. This is a series where I share with you the absolute best setup for various guns without all the fluff and over the top information that you don't really care about. I may not be the first to get the info out there, but I can promise you I've done my research. But keep in mind that these are my viewpoints and maybe you will and maybe you won't agree or disagree with them. And that's fine. I won't be getting overly technical by supplying statistics in these guides. Every time Modern Warfare receives a new patch and a weapon gets buffed or nerfed, those numbers change. So I'm not going to waste my time and yours giving you information that is going to end up being inaccurate in about a month's time. With all that out of the way, let's get started. So in today's best setup, we are talking about the Finn, a light machine gun otherwise known as an LMG, and specifically a short range hip firing setup for this gun. This LMG is free as of the Season 5 mid-season patch and is unlocked by getting one melee kill with an LMG in 7 different matches. This is easily done in 7 matches of the shipment map. The Finn is an interesting LMG in the aspect that there is actually two different versions of the gun depending on the type of barrel you put on it. In other words, the barrel itself acts as a conversion kit. With that said, this video is all about the short range version of the gun. And if you play smaller maps with up close and personal combat, then stick around because this is the video you want to see. If however you are looking for a long range version of this gun, you can find the link for that video down below in the description. So back to the barrels. When looking at the barrels, you will see normal barrels and barrels marked adverse. The adverse barrels affect the fire rate and damage potential. They deliver a higher rate of fire and have additional bullets in the magazine reducing the need to reload after every engagement. But with these benefits also come additional negative stats on the barrels, hence why they call it adverse. It should also be mentioned that while the adverse barrels are giving a faster rate of fire, the bullets coming out from those shots are actually doing less damage than if you were using a normal barrel. Also when using these adverse barrels, the gun won't shoot as far and you'll have much more recoil because of the faster bullet speeds. With the adverse barrels attached, this becomes a short range LMG. And around that is how we are going to set up the fin in this video turning the fin into a short range hip firing beast. The gun itself before any attachments are installed is slower than all of the current LMGs in the game with the exception of the SA-87. Because of its slower speed, it has very little recoil, making it one of the most accurate guns in the game. Once we do our setup here, all of that is just thrown right out the window. We are going to make this gun faster, but at the cost of its accuracy. Not a big deal since this will be a hip firing chainsaw gun. Movement speed, meaning running around speed, is actually quite good with the fin where LMGs are concerned. Running around with the gun feels more on par as if you were running around with an assault rifle and not an LMG. With this setup, there are no sights to aim down, but if you press whatever button you usually press to look down sights, you will notice that the shots have less spread and the tack laser becomes active for fine-tuned aiming. Once this setup is assembled, a bit of nostalgia will kick in as you will have in your possession the Chainsaw LMG from Call of Duty Ghosts. This was one of the most unique LMGs we ever had in a Call of Duty game, and once again it becomes the most unique LMG in Modern Warfare. So what is my overall opinion of the Finn as a short range LMG? Well, I think it's a Swiss Army knife of LMGs, giving you lots of choices to tweak it into whatever kind of gun you want, whether it be short range or long range versions, thanks to its built in conversion kit mechanic of the barrels. The short range version is pretty fun in core gameplay, especially on smaller maps. It's never been so much fun to just mow down enemies. In Warzone, however, this build makes the gun very situational at best. I mean, you can use it to rush into a house and mow people down inside if you get to jump on them, but other than that, there's no real practical use for this setup in Ground War or Warzone. But yeah, on smaller maps, this build is tons of fun. This setup improves upon the fin's fire rate, mobility, and control while dealing minor hits to accuracy and range while using an adverse barrel to make this a short range hip firing beast of an LMG. So with that said, let's take a look at my go-to loadout for this particular LMG. Alright, so let's get started turning the fin into a short range chainsaw hip firing beast. 
First thing we're going to do is go up the barrel. And again, you're going to notice that some of the barrels have the adverse effect on them. And these are your barrels that are pretty much going to turn this gun into a short range gun. If you're not looking for a short range gun, you would not be using an adverse barrel. But the one we want to choose is the XRK Long Shot Adverse. This is going to increase our damage range, our bullet velocity, and our fire rate. Next, we're going to jump over to Laser, and we're going to select Attack Laser. This will increase our aim down sight speed, our aiming stability, and our aim walking steadiness. The aim down sight speed doesn't really matter a whole lot because we won't really have any sights to aim down, but you'll see in a minute. Next, the bread and butter of this gun. We're going to go with the stock, and we're going to select the XRK Chainsaw. This is going to increase our movement speed, our hip fire accuracy, and our sprint to fire speed. And it's going to also change the entire look of the gun to give it that chainsaw look that we had in Call of Duty Ghost. There she is. And from selecting that chainsaw, our underbarrel now becomes locked. And next we're going to select ammunition and we're going to select the 556 NATO 100 round belt to give ourselves plenty of nice ammo. And then lastly, we're going to go with a perk and we're going to go with sleight of hand because the reload time on this gun just totally sucks ass and needs a little bit of loving. So there you have it. Now the only thing this gun needs is the perfect loadout. Okay, so here's the deal. I was on the fence on whether or not to include the loadout that I use when leveling this gun up, but I kind of knew that if I didn't include it, someone was going to ask for it. So here it is. Now, keep in mind that this is only an example loadout, a suggested loadout that worked well for my playstyle and my strengths. This may not necessarily be a best fit for you. Only you know what your playstyle is like and where your strengths lie. With that said, I strongly urge everyone to modify this example loadout to best suit your own gameplay style and strengths. The loadout overall is a personal thing, so make it personal to your own playstyle. And that brings us to our question of the day. Okay, alrighty. So let me know your answer in the comments below. I'm really curious to see what you guys think. And with that said, if anything in the video helped you out at all, then please throw the video a like. And if you want to see other videos by me, throw me a sub. Anyways, until next time, be good to one another. Extermicide out.